Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf back at it with another video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as a video is uploaded. Want to give a quick thing uh, to check out my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Check out the I am Beowulf merch at iambeowulf.com. One thing too, if you're new, I do free month of giveaways and I'm giving away free Bitcoin cryptocurrency. All you have to do is be subscribe to the channel, like the videos, comment on the video, and in the comment, you got to put your Bitcoin wallet. And if you're not aware of uh, uh, what a Bitcoin wallet is, do a little Google search. You'll get an idea of it. Coinbase is one of the sites you can sign up to have a Bitcoin wallet. And I'm going to give away to one lucky subscriber free Bitcoin every single month from here on out. So um, let's give it a little, you already seen what the title's about with the video. So I took a drive out to uh, Conway Marina. It's their main boat ramp for downtown Conway, South Carolina. And man, whoo, the flooding's bad. The marina's underwater. Everywhere surrounding around there is underwater. I was flying my DJI Phantom 4 Pro. Got some really cool aerial drone shots in 4K flying overhead, checking out what the damage is. Nowhere close to what Hurricane Florence happened, but it's pretty close to where uh, a lot of stuff is underwater. They used to have a tennis court there and when Hurricane Florence hit and flooded, they never rebuilt it and they took it all down. Um, so I'm gonna do some filming. Uh, a couple other parts, I think, I got this other area that's flooded that I'm gonna shoot with a video. Uh, it's kind of more farther up the Waccamaw River and then I'm going into Myrtle Beach, another video to film uh, this other neighborhood that I know that's underwater that I haven't filmed already with what's going on. And man, the flooding's crazy here in South Carolina during 2021. The wild thing is that it has came down, but the ocean tide, I was out riding just a couple days ago. The video's not up yet from when I was riding my Yamaha GP 1800R SVHO jet ski and when i was out there the tide was super super low so if it's super low there then it obviously brought down the flooding because the wakama and the intercoastal all tie into the ocean so as soon as the tide comes back up to normal there's a chance the water is going to go right back to where it's at uh and then some of the areas i saw it's gone down but that's what i'm saying is it's probably going to go up who knows we'll wait and see luckily there's no forecast to rain anytime soon we've had really bad for the last couple of months like almost raining every single day like unbelievably raining all the time and uh it's crazy just seeing the flooding hopefully uh south carolina government figured out <laughs> what to do to kind of fix this so it doesn't look like it's on the regular flooding going on really feel the pain for all the people who have been not been able to go to their homes and their homes become islands and businesses affected and all that i mean it's terrible especially with everything going on in the world um, but I figured to share showing this boat ramp area because you can't go riding a jet ski, a boat, when there's flooding like that. And literally, there's, I think there's only one or two spots to get into the ocean around here if you were trying to go fishing or boating or jet skiing. And hopefully during once the season starts that we get this all kind of figured out and we're not having this on the regular going on. But it's, uh, it's pretty wild. You watch it and it's just like, man... It's, it's unbelievable how Mother Nature works. I know that like Kentucky, it's on the news, Kentucky looks really flooded. Uh, so, you know, that all ties into these rivers and stuff. So that's like, if it's flooding in North Carolina, it's down south, it all ties in, same with Florida. Any rivers that all surround coming here, well, get affected everywhere. So it's pretty wild how Mother Nature works. But enough talking, let's roll the clip and I'll show you guys this awesome drone footage I got just a couple days ago.